I want to encourage us today by sharing a few things that I feel God has been speaking to me over the past couple of weeks. Although times are difficult at the moment, we can be encouraged by what Paul says in Romans chapter 8 verse 28 that God is at work to bring good in every situation. Like quite a few of us, I'm using the Lexio 365 app to help me pray in the morning. The theme for the weeks leading up to Easter was In the Wild, focusing on the earlier chapters of Joshua when the Israelites are preparing to cross the Jordan into the Promised Land. When I was praying, I was reflecting a bit about the talk that Ruth and I gave last year on Do Not Fear, Trust God to Give You the Land. I feel that in a way there is something in this story that speaks to what we're going through now. The Israelites wandered around in the wilderness for a long time, following God daily as he led them and, as Bev shared a few days ago, relying on his daily provision of manna. If you read the story, there are a number of occasions when the Israelites got fed up of the wilderness and expressed their desire to return to their lives as slaves which they had left behind in Egypt. But if they'd done that, then they wouldn't have been able to enter into what God had promised them. In a way, we are in a time of wilderness, having been pulled out of our normal lives into a time of isolation and having to rely on God on the daily. As we adjust to this new situation, many have been reflecting on the way that we've been living our lives. Whereas there's understandably a desire for many of us to return to the status quo and for life to return to normal, there is, I believe, a promised land for us if we're willing to leave some of that behind and look forward. Joy shared a prophecy to us as a church just a month before this lockdown began. She said that God is promising us something, but there are conditions. In order to enter into the new things, there are things that we have to leave behind. I don't believe that God has caused coronavirus or that he's engineered the situation we're in now, but I do believe that he works for, in all situations for good. I believe that God is at work in this time. And one of the opportunities that we have is to reflect and reevaluate. I think there's a sense in which we've been slaves in many ways to our routines of putting on services, work, and just being busy as a society and as a church. This time is an opportunity, I believe, to reflect a bit on that and ask God if there are things that we are meant to leave behind for good. As Ruth and I shared a year ago, the first time the Israelites arrived to take what God had promised them, they gave in to fear and bottled it. It was only after another 40 years in the wilderness that they arrived ready to move forward into the land. To do so, they were put in a situation where they had to trust God to supernaturally help them cross a flooded Jordan River that was impossible to cross. There was a bit in one of the Lectio 365 meditations that said the Israelites had to get their feet wet before God then parted the waters. There was a step of faith required first and then God did the rest. In this time of wilderness, I'm praying that God will prepare us for what's ahead. I think there is a new place for us to enter into as a community that is rich and life-giving on the other side. But it will take courage to take the first steps of truly leaving behind our Egypt, whatever that is, and fully committing to what God has for us in the future. That will inevitably involve facing down a lot of fears to take those initial steps forward. But I believe that if we are willing to at least get our feet wet, God will part the waters. I'm praying during this time that we don't miss out on all that God has for us to take hold of, but find the courage to step into what he's promised us.